I'm uh, Mike Curie with NASA. And how many years have you been with NASA? I have been with NASA since uh, 1985. And how many uh, how many space shuttle uh, programs have you been part of? Wow, um, pretty much every space shuttle launch and landing and mission since 1985, and we started flying in 1981. So pretty much. Uh, all but maybe about 10 or all I know is that you know it's been a it's been a wonderful ride there are a lot of great people who've been involved in the shuttle program and we're just very grateful that the shuttles will live on uh, after their retirement uh, at fabulous places like the Intrepid uh, Sea Air and Space Museum here in New York. I grew up in the Space Coast right near uh, the Kennedy Space Center so I actually uh, got this I've seen this many times and this is actually the only shuttle I haven't seen flown aboard a 747 but it's an exciting experience to see this massive vehicle being flown in, as you'll see today, because the shuttle itself is massive, so you can only imagine how big this plane is that's going to bring it in. But it's such an amazing vehicle, and just the history it's had, and obviously we've had some tragedies along the way, unfortunately, but the things that we've learned, it's really kind of sad for me to see this whole program, you know, this is kind of big officially came to an end this really is the official moment that with all the shuttles being given away you know there's no chance of this program ever coming back you know so it's kind of an emotional uh, aspect or emotional day for me to see this happen but it's just an amazing vehicle the inside i actually when i was a kid I got to go to take your son to work day my mother worked at the kennedy space center so i got to go into the shuttle look into the cockpit and just the knobs the devices the computers and to this day, I can still remember. I thought it was one of the most amazing things I've done in my life. And going into the big vehicle assembly building there in Cape Canaveral, also an amazing thing. This thing has a, a flag on the side of it that you can drive a bus up one stripe because it has to be so big because of the history of the space program out there. But yeah, again, it's just an amazing vehicle and just the things we've learned from it. And, you know, the future that we're going to have because of what these vehicles did for us is amazing. We, the cast of Star Trek, were invited to be there in Palmdale, California, when this ship was rolled out. For the first time, the hangar doors opened, and this wonderful ship came rolling out, and the Air Force Band played the theme from Star Trek. It was a great day for America, a great day for us to be connected to that history. A great, great Hundreds from around the country, and they became the first New York State students ever to have an experiment flown on a space shuttle. Their hard work aligns with the mission of the Intrepid, and it exhibits what can be accomplished when our youth are inspired. Please join me in congratulating these extraordinary students of Yeshiva Katana on their outstanding achievement. invite us to celebrate our achievements by Yeshiva Katana of flying and experiment on the final mission. Uh, we're very honored to be here. I have with me some of the boys who are responsible, we are honored to welcome NASA who are responsible for the experiment. And we're lucky enough for some of them to go down to witness history. Well, hello, and again, we're witnessing history today in New York. 
for Wonderful. watching the Enterprise come home. Thank you. Enterprise. Uh, Ken Cockrell, and the, one of the NASA pilots, part of this operation today, flew the uh, DC-9. Yeah, the inside of the vehicle is 